Hey guys, what's going on? Rex here, coming at you with the creation kit. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys, I guess, a little bit of an insight into how it works and I guess what it is. Uh, so for those of you who are not familiar, uh, familiar with what's going on here, um, Bethesda released the program that they use to make the game. So uh, this is what they use to like make the dungeons and make uh, make the characters and all that stuff. Um, so first of all, how to actually get it. Um, this is your normal games library as you see it. Uh, you can go here to view, tools, creation kit. I, it actually took me a while to find it so I thought you guys might appreciate it. I showed you guys but uh, yeah you can see all this junk. <laughs> um, but yeah let's open this up so I can show you guys just how this works. Um, as you can see it's really complicated. I mean it's um, it's had a lot of stuff and uh, this is not going to be a tutorial like I'm not qualified at all to be able to teach you guys just everything and how it works but I want to show you guys just a little bit of it uh, so you can get an appreciation of uh, of what the mod community goes through <laughs> when they make stuff so I guess what does this, if you're not interested in, in modding like how does this affect you well because this is out, this was released the 7th, uh, it's the 13th today. Um, this means that people can actually do quests, that they can like do storylines, that they can like modify the script in the game. So, I mean, all the mods that I've showed you guys in the past, I mean, those are just like a simple, simple like notch in, you know, in the ability that we. Okay, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, the things that we have done in the past, they're nothing compared to the things that we're going to be able to do now, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, let's get this started. You have to here go to data, and uh, you see here all the mods that I have. I can actually like modify them. Well, I, I could if I knew how to, but I don't know how to script that. But uh, <laughs> just go here, skyrim.esm. Uh, this is the main files, uh, master files you see here. Um, you can also use this update, but you shouldn't because they'll crash you. I don't know why it's this for, honestly, but don't 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 use that. Just use the Skyrim one here and just press yes to all. It's gonna be a bunch of crap there, but you don't have to worry about that. But well, this this is gonna take a long time loading, and sometimes it even crashes. But I guess I want to show you guys a little something while that loads. Uh, this is these are the the scenes from the last video I made, the greatest battle in Skyrim. And uh, those are really cool scenes here, I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Those are the, the takes that I used. Is it up yet? Yep, that's, that's good. Um, so yeah, this is it. Here are pretty much everything that you use. Like every single, you know, like furniture, freaking trees and characters, books, everything it's in here. Uh, but to use this, you need a cell. A cell is, I guess, the, the ground, if you want to call it that, the where you're going to stand on, the everything, I guess. Uh, and these are you know everything that's in Skyrim uh, every single sale in the game uh, just to give you guys a little demonstration let's go to this art you know white run and then the houses but I want to show you guys Bree's home which is the house that you can actually buy just as je just say yes to all to whatever prompt uh, yep here you go <laughs> this is Bree's home so you can see that you can actually like manipulate I mean whatever you want I, I could like move this and then this will fall down when I enter, which is kind of funny, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to manipulate anything because, well, it's not like I'm gonna save this anyways. But yeah, what I wanted to do though, it's create something new. Now in here, there's a cell called called where are you? Hey, there you go, unowned cell. This is the one we're going to be using. So we're going to double click that and bring this up here. 
No. Oh. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh. God. What just What just happened? Okay. Here's the cell. So as you can see, it's just simply a room. But uh, we're gonna use this leg, you know, just modify it a little bit and show you guys how everything works here. Let's click it here and make it look really nice. Now we're gonna press M. Take this off. All right. So what can we add here? Let's see. We have actors, characters. I'm not sure like how everything works. Like I've gone through it a little bit, but honestly, like this is so big, I don't. I'm not even a little bit into it. Um, we got actors here. These are the named characters. So you get um, Avalon. I don't. I don't even know who these guys are. Acne, Alba, Alba. Oh jeez. Let's just grab someone. Let's grab acne we can like drag it there and there you go you can sell us a girl so yeah we have that and uh, let's just add more let's add let's go all the way down let's see shoulder sure oh geez that's uh what the hell is that <laughs> I don't even know what the hell is that <laughs> But uh, yeah, there's also presets, so you can add like um, Argonian male, red and female. If I add a female, it's just going to be naked, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't want to be flagged or anything, but uh, there you go. A Nord male. So that's cool. Uh, we can add books. Let's just add something here. A recipe. We can, we can literally like make the world. Like This is what these guys use to make Skyrim. So everything that's on the world, everything that they did, we can literally do. We can grab this weapon here, just drop it there. Uh, we can uh, we can make it three happen. Uh, Nightingale banner. I don't even know what that means. Uh, up the pine tree. <laughs> Let's just add a pine tree there. Why not? <laughs> Oh, uh, and um, there's grass. We cannot put grass there because I guess it needs to be ground, which is a bummer. <laughs> I mean, if we can put a tree there. <laughs> uh, there's furniture, so there's like bed rolls. Let's just add a bed roll there. <laughs> this is gonna be the the. It's gonna be my Skyrim, invisible shell mark. Whatever. I'm just using invisible shell marker. Like, what what does that even mean? And it count one so it's being used one in the game I don't even know it, it's a little weird and uh, there's the light oh we can add light Gee, this is really complicated like you know I give them props to people that made this game this is I mean they got the tools but it looks really complicated you see here the count I think this is the times that it's been used in the game 469 times so this is like a popular light that's cool um, but yeah but now what you guys are waiting for or what you should be waiting for is to actually test this in game now uh, the one thing that you need to pay attention to for to be able to do that is the named of the cell that you used right I mean you can modify anything again uh, but the one that we used is called unknown cell so unknown cell so that's what we're gonna use. Uh, we're gonna save this into program files, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Skyrim Data. And there you just put whatever name you want. Rexy Testy. That sounds really cool. Not and that's it. That's really all that we need to do. Now we have to go in game. So we're gonna go here, tools, all games. And yep, those are all those are all games. And let's go here play. Let's get this show on the road. Hopefully it looks cool. <laughs> oh, by the way, you can go here data files, and uh, these are all the mods that you have. So that's that's pretty cool. I have a lot of mods. Let's go play. Now, to get to the place, I hope the sound is not too loud. Um, to get to the place, you have to open this command here. Oh yeah, that's Zelda. Can you hear it? Let you hear it. Yeah, 
that's a mod that I used to modify the little theme song here, which is really cool. <laughs> um, you type here COC, which is the teleporting command, and then you do um, unowned. Well, yeah, unowned cell. That's all you gotta do. Uh, that's the name of the cell that we used and that we're going to use to teleport here. Now, as you can see, we are here. <laughs> we got the soldier that we summoned. I, I think we did we summon the soldier. I if you know, know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Yeah, I don't like this guy. <laughs> there you go. We got our our tree. We got. What do you need? The prisoner, and then the little girl should be trapped <laughs> inside the tree. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's the sword. The the axe what that we. Need? That we summoned, we have a hay pile sleeping thing that is bugging the shit out of this place, and the chest that came with the place. And the chest comes with an amulet of Mara. That's that's funny. But what's even funnier though is that we are actually called prisoner. I I guess we are technically a prisoner because we are stuck in this room. But it's funny though that this guy comes with stuff. I mean, this is this is a testing guy, right? I mean, we haven't loaded. We haven't loaded any of my characters. This is the guy that it's pretty determined for you to use um, if you load the game but without loading any character. So that's kind of cool. And he comes with stuff. Comes with the longbow, well, a bunch of crap, a bunch of potions. Let's go. But now all that you have to do is type here COC Sovngarde. Zero one, and then, and then, and then, you finish the game. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. That was my tutorial on how to beat the game in ten seconds. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope you guys test out the creation kit. I uh, haven't done much of it myself, but can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And yeah, Welcome hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day. Peace out, guys.